I'm going to share eight different common sources of passive income. I'm not going to go in and tell you how to do it, but I'm just going to tell you what they are, and then you can kind of dig in deeper and see if this is something you would like to do. Now, I do want to emphasize passive income. When we hear that, we think that we're just going to make money and not do anything. I don't know if there's anything like that, that you absolutely have no involvement. There's always going to be something that you need to do to set it up. Maybe you have to keep on looking into it to make sure it's functioning. So there is some degree of involvement, but that just depends on how you set it up or if you hire other people to monitor it. So I just want to make that clear. I don't know if anything is 100% passive, whether you're paying somebody else or doing it yourself. Let's go ahead and jump in. Number one is my personal favorite. It's rental income. You can get earnings from rental estate properties. You can do apartments or commercial spaces, or you can just buy a home to start with or a duplex and rent it out. And then you have cash flow coming in regularly. Now, again, there's some, there's other expenses, you have to pay insurance, property taxes, all of those things. But in general, if you get some good renters in there, it can become passive except for repairs. Number two, dividend stocks, you can invest in dividend paying stocks. And this allows you to earn a portion of a company's profits, usually on a quarterly basis. So when you get dividends, that is your income. Some people put it right back into the stock and other people draw it. So that's pretty, um, not a lot of active involvement in that one. Royalties, Arth authors, musicians, artists, inventors, they can earn passive income through royalties from books, music, art, or patents. So if you're very creative and you're in this genre of work, then you can earn royalties. You could write a book, put it up for sale and the hard work's been done, right? Put it on Amazon and then the royalties keep coming in. So that's passive once you have it developed. You can also earn royalties on crypto. If you go to Coinbase, again, I'm not going to give you all the details, but they can they have a spot in there where you can earn, uh, you can stake your crypto. There's certain ones like Ethereum and they will pay you royalties or interest on, on the uh, crypto that you have staked. Number four, affiliate marketing. A lot of your YouTubers do this. You'll hear them promoting a product or a service, and they tell you to go to the description below and hit the link. When you hit that link and you purchase or you sign up for something, they earn a commission every time a referral comes in. You can earn interest from savings accounts or bonds. Um, this is money that you keep in savings accounts or invested in bonds, and it generates passive income in the form of interest payments. Yes, interest is not always really high, but it is a passive income where you can earn interest. Number six, peer-to-peer -peer lending. There are online platforms which allow individuals to lend money to others in exchange for interest payments. So this is very interesting. If you happen to have money and you want to lend it out, you can do that and earn interest from other people. Number seven, this is real estate as well, but you don't have to go out necessarily and purchase a property. It's called REITs. And REITs are pretty lucrative. Um, it gives you exposure to the real estate asset, but you don't have to manage it. So you're definitely in a passive position where you invest in the REIT and then they will distribute rental income and capital gains to their investors. And number eight, automated online businesses. Um, some online businesses like e-commerce stores with drop shipping, automated blogging with ad revenue or software as a service. <clears throat> They're all platforms that can generate passive income when they are set up to run largely on autopilot. So again, dig in to any one of these eight different ways of earning passive income. If you have others that you have been dabbling in and you've been successful, please share them in the, uh, the comments below and you have a blessed day.